Welcome to our information session for Digital Workplace Essentials. In this presentation, we'll give you an overview of what this short course is about, and hopefully you'll see if it's the right fit for you for your future study. Please note that if you've already enrolled previously and completed the Workplace Computing course in any of our previous rounds, this is the same course with an updated name. If you have any questions during or after the presentation, please feel free to email us. The email address will be on the last slide of the presentation. Why would you enrol in this course? This course is great for those who want to change their career or learn to work within the digital world. You'll also learn how to update your office software skills if you're already working in that area or develop good file management practices and understand how to correctly name any files. We will give you the opportunity in the course to use video conferencing skills and also using other communication software. We'll introduce you to workplace policies and how they are used within a office environment. Industry and pathway opportunities. Further study in this course can open various job opportunities, including front office and administrative positions. There's also a range of other course pathways that you could follow. The Certificate 3 in Business would be a great follow on from this course or the Certificate 3 in Information Technology and perhaps even the Certificate 3 in Design Fundamentals. Course information. This is a 10 week course and we do expect that you do around um, 10 hours a week to cover all of the assessments. The 10 weeks has nine weeks of learning and the 10th week is devoted to completing assessments. There are three units in the course and the units are listed there on the slide. The start dates for the course are also available there on the slide. We've got four rounds starting with the 5th of February uh, next year. So you'll see the 10 weeks are mapped out there for each round. There are no essential requirements for this course, but you will need to have basic computing skills, including the use of Office software. So that really means um, knowing your way around a desktop and using a mouse and keyboard with some confidence. You need also a digital device with access to the internet. However, if you don't have that, you can use equipment at the TASTAFE campus libraries, but you will need to make a regular booking to keep up with the expectation within the course to get your work done if you need to use those campus libraries. Enrollment will provide you with free Microsoft Office account while you are an enrolled student. Therefore, you will have access to all the software you need while you are an enrolled student. What are the expectations of you during the course? It is a part time study, this course, and that means you will be required to do at least 12 hours of independent study each week in your own time. You're encouraged to participate in the weekly online Zoom settings that we set up between the teacher and group of students. However, you can request an individual Zoom meeting along the way during the week if you require extra demonstrations. We do record the Zoom meetings, so if you can't make it to the set time where the, Zoom, the weekly Zoom meetings are recorded, then you can look at them in your own time. You will be expected to complete the learning task activities and assessments throughout the course using the management system Canvas. All information and course learning and assessments are located on the Canvas learning platform. You will be required for your assessments to demonstrate your ability using a range of skills and knowledge and you'll learn that along the way during the course. Completing assessment tasks is a um, general part of any course. You will be required to complete them by yourself using your own digital device or a library, one that you've booked into with any of the associated or required software for the tasks. You will have a range of questions to also practical assessments to complete during your course assessments. Successful completion requires that all tasks to be completed against the criteria at 100% 
You do have three attempts on each task. So if you don't complete in the first one, we give you very constructive and supportive feedback, which will help you to complete your tasks within the three attempts. Timetable information. We don't really have a timetable um, as it is, is, but we do have a study at home structure which lets you know how you're going during the week and, during the week and what we expect you to do along the way in the 10-week program. You will have to do a fair bit of self-directed study. However, we also have the online Zooms during the week to keep you on track and keep you in line with the study at home schedule. We will cover all the topics during the week with our Zoom sessions. And as we said before, the Zooms are recorded so you can watch them in your own time. This course is free and there are no other associated costs that you will be having to cover during the course. Totally free. the end of our presentation for today for this course and we hope that you have had your any questions answered but however if you have any further questions please don't hesitate to contact us through the email here at bogprep.studysupport at tastafe.tas.edu.au we are happy to answer any questions that you might have about the course Thanks again for watching.